Today is Monday, November 27, 2023. Welcome to another daily recap. You are looking at a one minute chart of the SPY or Spiders, which tracks the S&P 500 index. There was a little bit of the same sleepiness in the market left over from last week for Thanksgiving week. So not a lot of movement today, but there were four levels that the Spiders hit. And these are four levels that were calculated and identified before the market opened this morning and they produced trades in the evening futures. It looks like a lot of back and forth and I've actually have has expanded the chart really looks like this it's pretty tight but just for a closer look the spiders opened up and sliced through these levels back down through them this, this third level here all before 945 so none of that mattered but notice where the spiders were at the 945 a.m. close they were below this 454 54 level so that meant that the e-minis were on standby to trigger a short trade if the spiders came back up into this level they did hit that level and they kept on going higher but notice how close together these levels are for today. Essentially, this was the zone. When levels are within 25 or 30 cents of each other in the spiders, it's likely that more than one level will get spiked before support is resistance is established. And in my case, I just took one short trade in the middle around 454.80 and got one base hit uh, of four ES points on this trade. But treating this as a process, I'm showing you what the strategy would look like and produce if you traded each level independently and played by the rules. So you would have sold at each level and average it in your position in the ES in the E-minis. And this would have been one, two, or more contracts at each level. So the spiders did fall away from that average entry price of these three levels and provided a solid base hit. Again, you would have to trust the level, or, or sorry, trust the process. And I don't see it as leaving points on the table if you decide just to trade one level like this. Obviously, the better place to enter a short trade is higher up, but you just never know which level will provide the biggest reaction. In this case, it was like clockwork. It took about 25 minutes for these three levels to play out, but you get a base hit from each of them on the average position of the levels. The fourth and last level to get hit today was up here at 455.53. The operating trigger point was 455.48 in the spiders with the five cent buffer applied. And look at the high of this 1.13 p.m. candle. It came up a high of 455.49, exactly one penny above the trigger point. So the, the high of the day was nailed to the penny by one penny. So another picture perfect trade, not out of money at all, and a quick base hit. And so four base hits total, good way to start the week. So you can see here all the levels that were hit today did perform as designed. Four base hits that totaled 16 ES points and a pretty good day, even if you were just trading two or three E-mini contracts. So keep piling up the base hits and growing your account. That's the name of the game. Hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.